show me everything. 255 here, what up, what up? So we got an announcement from Bandai Namco about an update for the Dragon Ball Fighter Z patch. Now before we get into this, one of the first things I'm gonna talk about, why is this dropping right now? It is May 22nd. They didn't know Capcom's plans, I don't think, but let's just keep in mind, uh, Street Fighter 6 comes out, what, next Friday? And um, to make sure they don't lose about half of their player base or 25% of it or whatever percent is left, they're making sure they're dropping this patch right now. And they're also promising that if we don't like this patch at this time, they're going to add it up. So, you know, as usual, money's a, a motivator, but that's, that's just the name of the business. But in any case, I'm very excited for what this patch is going to bring. So let's go ahead and read through it. Hello, Fighter Z. Today, we would like to announce that the balance adjustment patch which was announced in March. Now let's think about that. Patch version 1.32 will be released from May 23rd. Please note that distribution timings will differ between platforms. So that means that they've been possibly working on this patch for two, for how long? Right, so just think about that, okay? Uh, I am hoping that Android 21 gets destroyed. I mean, nerfed through the ground. Um, the character is the most broken character in DBFZ's history. There's, there's no debate about it. I don't care about your opinion. Not GT Goku, not UI Goku, and definitely not Vegito. Because, see, I was a Vegito main since season one where everybody said he had no mix and double sabers was hitting the highest in tournaments and people treated Vegeta like he was a clown you know Hook, Lotus Asakura and these other people that hate on fusions for no reason just dumb you know what I mean not knocking them for that but I love fusion so actually I am one of the people that love this after two seasons of hearing how fusions were complete trash and they were a waste of time and they couldn't be used. Uh, yes, I did enjoy season three when the changes came with the tags and that the fuses were on top. They're fan favorites. There's no reason why they shouldn't. Now, I hope when they do nerf the fusions that they still keep them playable. Keep them at least A or B tier because they are great characters. They made Android 21 ridiculous. Why? Because she, nobody cares about her. Nobody wanted her in the game. Nobody asked for her. She's made up, she's not canon, and there are lots of other non-canon characters that they could have added to the game that people would have loved, like Super Saiyan Level 4. Anyway, the adjustments will be made based on the playability of the game after the overall balance adjustment made last June. As well as on the voices we have been hearing from the community. Okay, so as a voice from the community, I want Jiren, I want Frieza. I want Baby Buffed. I would love to see GT go back to his his fame. And look, I'm gonna even be kind of wild here for a second. Look, I wouldn't be surprised come Evo if we get a Ghost, if we get a Beast Gohan trailer. Would not surprise me at all. Just keeping it straight up with you, it would not surprise me. I know that's a lot to ask for, but. There's no reason for them to keep putting these patches into the game because recently, I don't know if you heard about the announcement, Dragon Ball Fighter sold 10 million copies. So, Bandai uh, Namco sees where is the money. Yeah, they could create a brand new game, but there's lots of easy DLC they can make money off of. We hope that you will take this opportunity to experience both the characters you are familiar with and those you have not used much in the past, which could suggest and remember this patch drop tomorrow could suggest that they buffed a lot of characters that have not gotten a lot of play. We would also like to mention that we are planning a second round of balance adjustments based on the results of this round. Details will be announced in the near future, so we hope players will look forward to further information. Now, why would they say that unless they've done something bold and new with the game? You look at the Season 3 patch. 
and they completely changed the game. Changed the UI, added the new tag feature, added the new assists. So they're probably with the EXs that everyone hated, but I still love. Um, so you imagine that if they're saying stuff like that, there's a chance they probably made drastic changes to the game. It's like every time Arc System updates the game, they really make sure that they that they really make a change. Or they could have just made the balance patches just huge. Maybe there's some stages. I don't know. Anyway, here's the part that a lot of people aren't going to be too excited about. In regards to the rollback net code implementation, we made an announcement earlier this year that a beta test will be carried out on Steam around spring. However, to further improve and stabilize the experience of the feature, we have decided to postpone the timing of the test. Yeah, after Guilty Gear got hacked the way it did and nearly destroyed the game, thank goodness for um, Asuka coming out, R, to help bring the game back. But yeah, we don't want that to happen. We apologize for the delay. But the team is here, is committed to delivering the feature in its best shape. So we hope that players will wait a little longer for further updates regarding timings of the beta test. So you have to Street Fighter V. I think everybody understands the importance of fighting games being fully ready to come out. Finally, we would like to officially announce the, that the 2023-2024 World Tour will be getting from this year's EVO. As in the previous season, we are planning to hold a tournament format that will support community organized tournaments. Details will be announced soon, so please join us in this exciting competition. And I mean, oh man, DBZ season three should have got more time, but COVID messed it up. But that's where you had the most character variety, I feel like. But this game is nowhere near dead. I don't think it's going to be dead for a long time. That's what's going to probably take them so long for making part two. There's so much cash that can easily be made here. So I guess Arc System must have something huge and big, or rather Bandai Namco, so that they can make this. Anyway, 255 out. One.